But uh, it, the point is, if mine at size 11 are large, then at size 14 they are freaking enormous. Enormous, huge. August 1983? Wow. Anyway, what did she say? Something about feet? And then I missed the rest of it because I was <laughs> being a douche. I was being a person. I've done that. Uh, I've done that. <laughs> Pardon me. Probably supposed to try and climb up up above over there. Oh no, something to do with stuff anyway. Uh, it, it was on the thing. I don't know. Something above. Yeah, there we go. Oh, mannequin stuff. Ah. Uh. What are you doing, Mog? Gonna be on one of these things, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Or not? Nope, in that case, it's gonna be on one of the mannequins. Isn't it? Collection tool. Eh, uh, it's kind of easy. There we go, it's blood. I think. Yes. Oh no. Something to do with this. Oh, I see it now. Yeah, I see it now. It's the word there. Ah! Take a picture of it, you stupid person. There we go. Ah! This is reminding me of Heavy Rain for some reason. Actually, let's play that one though. Even though it's shit. That's why I should let's play it. To point out exactly why it's shit. What's all this here? An outpost? A second shop? Talk, Cap. Dude. I am very drunk. Yeah, uh, killed somebody with this now so I can and he's humping the floor so I can be a person that eats faces oh I can climb up there no oh I want to go up there let me break the window what are you doing cat she's laying on my leg like I'm going to lay on your leg because I like your leg I'm gonna eat your face because I like your face. She's like, no, you cannot eat my face. And I'm like, I will eat you. Oh, ow! And I'm like, I will eat you however I want. And she's like, no, you cannot because I have a face. And I'm like, <gasps> but I have a small pipe. I could have sworn it said that there were pluses and minuses. <laughs> And it was like, no, oh, you have a face. And I'm like, <gasps> and it's like, you eat my brain. And I'm like, no, your brain is too tasty for my face. I'm like, what? What the hell am I talking? Rip. Ah! Eat my face. Eat my face. Ow, oh, I'm dead. Where did the bird dying from brain hemorrhage? Did you hear the cat? Make noise. There we go. Make noise. Nope. She's making noise. Hopefully she... Oh! Eat. My. Face. Alright, fine. You stand there and be a dude. I've just... I just... 
spitillated all over my own face because I'm not a dude. Dudes have to be dudes, so dude and a. I'm a dude. Ah! Fine, you do that. Sure. I, you do know I can see you, don't you? Stupid dude. Ah! I mean, seriously, I can see you. Easy as a face. That eats a face. Of people with faces. Oh, fucking fur, fucking fur, fucking fur, fur, fucking fur, 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 fucking fur, 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 on the face of stuff. Seriously, I just died on a dude that. No, it wasn't a dude, it was a woman. That's cool, actually. The, the fact there are the women's that can do the women's stuff. I have no idea what that means, but women's. Right, faces. It's. Oh, no, it's down there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Eat faces of people. No, I'll zoom! Fucking. Zoom! Uh. Alright, thank you. Now take the picture and eat the faces of the people. Shut up, you. I don't even care. So, fine, while she's talking, I'm gonna go for a piss. Uh. I told them they have faces. I bet their whole entire worldview will be shattered now by the fact that they have faces. Right. Um, open compartment. And. Shut up. Seriously, shut up. Right, what did she actually say? Because I kind of missed it. Huh. Farts? But yeah, people on Sky, I told them that they have faces. It's a while. Sounds like fun. You are a cat. Nasty. <laughs> okay, so how does that open? Sure. Let me move. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Seriously. Let me move then. Thank you. No, let me move. Ah, oh, see, that's how it opens. He breaks it. Small pipe. I'll do. Ah! Uh, climb the ladder. Climb. Climb, 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 clim
Okay, it doesn't give me. Oh, you friggin' inferge! Eat my face! Oh, you with the faces of the eating. You can eat my faces, so it didn't give me. Oh, his face has gone through the thing. Can I kick him until he falls down? Come on, fall down. Fall down. Fall down the, the hole. Fall! Fine. Deny me all my fun. Uh. No. There we go. Is he gonna fall? Oh, fall! Fall? Can I kick him? Yay! There we go. Should probably keep my voice down and have neighbours. <laughs> their bedroom is right next to my living room. Why they decided to turn that room into the, their bedroom, I don't know, but their, their room is right next to I know because I've, I've done exercise, I've done my exercise regime sometimes uh, at times when they could. Okay. At times when they'd be s going to bed and they like banged on the wall and tried to murder me in the face. So I know that they um, sleep at reasonable times and that their bed, what the bed? And that their bedroom is the room next to the bed. And their bedroom is the room next to my living room, which is I've seen the inside of that place actually. Um, I know the dude who ah no I ah there we go. I know the dude who rents the place now because he's um, uh, he's my neighbour I suppose. He's the guy who owns the the hairdressers next door. To where I live. Okay. Just leave them to it, I guess. Let them kill each other. Until. Who's doing the shooting? Oh, I don't care. Let them murder each other, I don't care. It makes my job easier. Cool. Well, murder each other. Cool. Anyway, um, what was I talking about? Yeah, but I know that, that that room next to mine is what I consider a bedroom, uh, a living room. But they decided to make it the bedroom. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna pour some more alcohol and take it from there. Sounds like a good plan to me. Uh, I don't know when I'll be doing Condemned 2, which is um, console only, unfortunately. Although, I did notice that Viking Battle for Asgard, which is hilariously inaccurate on the mythology, but that's a story for another time when I play it. Um, that's been released on the PC and was released something like six years after it was released on console. So there is still hope for Condemned to Bloodshot being released on the PC. I don't understand why it isn't. Now, there's there's a conversation for you. I, I get the idea of exclusives at Uncharted. Oh, I see. Uncharted, for example, <laughs> on... Um, Oh crap! Uncharted on the three, uh, the the PlayStation Three and uh, Halo on the P. Not so much Halo. Anyway, I, I get the idea of um, exclusives anyway, staying on consoles like Uncharted and stuff like that. But the so-called console exclusives, as they call them, because people have used that term for games that are only released on consoles, plural. I just, I don't get that. I, I mean, I understand the idea of developing for different consoles can be, uh, for, for different platforms, it can, it generates further expense than just making it for one platform or one type of platform in the first place but I mean 
honestly, if you're going to make something for the 360 and the PS and, and the, the PlayStation 3 and the Wii, Wii U now, then why wouldn't you do it for the PC as well? Which brings me back to Halo, actually, because a lot of people want Halo 3 on the PC. Can't honestly think why, because, well, you know. But hey, you do, more power to you. Uh, oh, cool, Revolver. Anyway, um, but yeah, my point is, why limit your sales like that? It's like Metal Gear. Why is it always on consoles? Now, in some ways, I understand the principle of making it consoles first, because generally speaking, gaming is more of a console thing. I mean, consoles, games consoles, by their very nature, I mean, as if the name doesn't give it away, they are designed to play games. That's what they do, that's what they are there for. Oh crap! That is what they're there for. Crap, 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 crap. And in that respect, yeah, I get you, but why limit your sales like that? Especially with things like Metal Gear, which we know there's, uh, and Halo as well, there are a lot of people in the PC crowd that want to play them. Speaking of Metal Gear, for those who don't know, Metal Gear Re uh, Rising Revengeance has been announced for the PC. This isn't one of those times where it's like, it's probably going to go there and people just... Uh, or it might be going there and people are just filling in the blank. No, Kojima himself. Hideo Kojima... Uh, um, Kojima Hideo-sama for the Weebos amongst us has announced, yes, it will go to the PC, which is good. Personally, I can give a flying fuck if it goes to the PC. I, I really don't care about the series. Although, it would be nice to see um, Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots go to the PC. Not because I particularly want to play the game. I have it on the, uh, the PlayStation 3 already, so I don't care in that respect. But, the mods. Oh my god, the mods. Okay, I'm dead. The mods would be awesome for that game. Anyway, yes, I don't get this whole thing about doing it for consoles only. I get the idea of doing consoles first because that's where the majority of the industry is. But unless you're doing it as an exclusive for one console because you are owned by that console, like Uncharted or Halo or Gears of War or infamous or anything else is going on. If you then port it to another platform, why not do it to PC as well? All you're doing is limiting the people who are going to play. Seriously. Which is why I'm so glad of what I've heard. Uh, Ubisoft have said that for their next generation of games, because of the way the PlayStation 3, sorry, PlayStation 4 so far, is built. We don't know about the 720 yet, or whatever it's going to be called in the end. This is before the reveal of the, the, the next Xbox, which is going to be sometime next week. Um, apart from that, but anyway, uh, Ubisoft, uh, who I'm quite fond of actually, but they've said they're going to actually develop for the PC in the future, the way the PlayStation 4 is built. That's going to be their lead platform from now on. Hopefully, they actually stick to that. They're going to develop for the PC, uh, for the PC first and then port it across. I really hope that is the truth because that shows a lot of potential for games. Plus, it means that we'll get decent games on the PC instead of dodgy ports like the Assassin's Creed series, for example. Shit. Oh, no, sorry, I've already killed somebody with this. Haven't I? What was it? Yeah, I've already killed somebody with that. Hey! Anyway, what was I saying? Yes. I just don't get the idea behind this whole console exclusive thing. If you're not a first party developer, 
why would you make something solely for one console? I seriously just do not get it. Seriously, I just don't get it. Okay, that wasn't what I did, but cool. Where am I going? Right, anyway, finally made it through this area. Uh, I'm going to grab that, and then I'm going to go down here, because I think there's some health down here. I think. Hopefully there's nobody down here to... Oh, you feckin' idiot! Ugh! Fine! I will make do with what I have. Anyway, don't know what's going on now. Stuff and a fair amount of things. So yeah. Excuse me. About to sneeze. Don't know why I'm telling you that after I've actually sneezed, but you know, it's just the way I roll, baby. And stuff. And things. Because stuff is things, those who don't know. Hello. No, can't pick up that. Can't pick. Seriously? It's just led me around in a circuit. Hello. A hedge slammer. Yet another hedge slammer. <gasps> no. Wait a minute. I am, I know, I'm back where I started. Gafferk. Gafferk. There we go. Yeah. Back where I started. Seriously? Okay. Nobody here. There's some health there. Nope, I used it. Um. Huh. Fair enough then. Okay. So be it. I don't even know what you are trying to do to me. I know there is some help around here somewhere, but I can fix it. Because I want it to be healthy for me. I want it to be good for me. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. I know, in fact, I'm not going the right way, but I don't care because I hate all of you and I want you to watch me being a complete idiot. Uh, idiot! For those who don't know, that Russian for idiot. I know a little bit of Russian. And I mean, by a little bit, I mean a tiny little bit. I should probably learn a language because I really, really want to read Metro 2034. And I've recently found out there's a Metro 2035 in the works. Plus, I'm quite sure that um, Sergei Lukyanenko will write another in his uh, watch series. Just some of the other words I know in Russian. Quite certain he will write a fifth in the Nightwatch trilogy, also known as Nochne Doza. Um, but yeah, I really want to read Metro 2034 and Metro 2035. But the 2034 and 2035 are not in English yet. No. 2033 is, and I have read it already, and I do know somebody who is Russian. But I don't think she'd appreciate it too much if I asked her to translate the entire bloody thing for me. She might get a bit of a bit of that. Just, you know, just a hunch. The thing is, she'd probably actually do it as well. And which makes me think I really don't deserve that kind of commitment from people. Anyway, 
Um, my health is almost gone, but sod ya. I'm gonna go this way anyway, cause reasons. Cause bacon. Bacon is my solution to everything. Oh, where am I going? Through here? No. No, well, actually maybe. I don't, I don't know where I'm going now, actually. Um, this way? Guess. Could be. Sound like there's gonna be somebody around here trying to murder me in the face. Wait, I closed that. Closed down here, thank you. Oh, there we go. That is where I'm supposed to be going in. Ah! Cool, I've just finished another level. Completion of what? I earned three more again. Static TV Xbox 360. I killed 34 people? Seriously? Favourite weapon, the taser. Seriously? You, you, wait, you said I earned three achievement awards. It only popped up with one. What were the other three? That way. 42,000 now. Nice. Oh, my four! 210. You finished chapter four. You found the the TV. We... I see. It tells me how many I've got in the level, not how many I've got at this time. Internal report number 802. Outside influence can reverse. Summary has been determined that birds are drawn to specific lines through that city by strange sonic disturbance of unknown origin. Once in close proximity of a disturbance, the birds' brains suffer. Fuck off! <laughs> Come on! Uh, Is that me? What's this guy's name? Why is everything so quiet? Snap. Someone else, Someone else killed, killed those policemen. It looks like it, it, looks like it might have been the matchmaker. No. With all due respect, I don't need a shrimp. That was rather clumsy acting. Who's that guy? Is he gonna eat my face? Is gonna eat my soul? I had a dream recently, actually, about Marina Sirtis. For those who don't know, she played um, Cancel Diana Troy in Star Trek The Next Generation. But I had a dream that she was I'm crazy. Um, living in a, a penthouse apartment, which was in the attic of where I live. Look, look, I'll tell you in a minute. Yes. 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 I mean, no. No. What do you want? What do you want from me, Melvin? What's going on? Hello. What's up? Okay. Yeah. I'll make do with that. Hey, what am I talking about? Um, I actually don't know. I hate it when that happens. Clothes, grab clothes rack. Okay, fair enough. I have to beat somebody to death with this. Don't know what I was talking about, so. Stuff and things. Um, yeah, stuff and things. So let's just carry on with stuff. I don't know. Grab two by four with bolt. No. So what's going on now? We're doing stuff. But it turns out the guy's name is Thomas, which I'm told I means twin. I'm told Amin's twin? Did I just say Amin's? 
If I did, so I do. Um, I, I, I seriously don't know what's going on at this point. I'm kind of a bit bladdered. As you might have noticed from the fact that I've been drinking and I'm drunk. Extremely drunk and it's 1.50 minutes. What are you doing? You look familiar. I'm trying to zoom in but I can't. Well, I'm not actually. I want to zoom in by pressing the right three button but that does that. Uh. Why why are there presents here? Am I the the third? Where did that go? Am I the uh, third? Seriously, where did that go? Anyway, am I playing Dungeon Defenders? Is there a jester in this party? No? Fine, go away then. Uh. Anyway, um don't know. Don't know what I want to talk about. Seriously, just the uh, third. Seriously, just do not know what I want to talk about. Where am I? No, seriously, where am I? There was no explanation for why I've reached this particular point. I mean, I know why I've moved from one. What was that? I know why I've moved from. I don't want to leave. I can't. I would if I could. To be perfectly honest, I probably would. Anyway. Um, I don't know why I've come to this particular place. What the hell are you doing? That's, no, can't taser it. Looks like the G Man. Anyway, I know why I've come to. A new location, but why this particular location? That burp. I feel like I need to burp. But yeah, stuff and things. I'm tired. I should probably go and get some sleep, but I'm probably not going to. So, nope, that guy's not there. Fine, sod you then. I'm going to kick that. Uh. Beat that for a stick. Which isn't actually a stick. So, kick. Kick. <laughs> so, I don't know what I'm going to drunkenly fail at next. Anybody watching? There must be somebody, seriously. Oh, grab a clothes rack. It's not a clothes rack, it's a piece of the clothes rack. It was taking the entire thing. It would be that thing there. The entire thing. Anyway. If, the, if there's anybody actually watching, leave comments below for what you think I should drunkenly fail at next. I'm thinking something. I don't know what. Something I haven't played would be nice. It's quite a lot, actually. Um, I can't be bothered telling you what I have and haven't played. Was that me that made that noise, or was there somebody else around? Is there somebody else around? I don't know. We will soon find out, I suppose. But yeah, comments below what you think I should get drunk to playing next. Something would be a good start. Anything is better than nothing, as they say. Wait, what? Grab what? No, seriously, grab what? It's gone. Two by four with bolts. Fine. Nope, not gonna grab that. I've made one of them. A real one. Not like some kind of digital construct. Nope, don't want to close that. But yeah, I did forestry for a while. Um. Was it forestry? Yeah, forestry. I was going to do horticulture as well, but didn't get around to it. But I did forestry for a while. It's uh, weirdly enough, it's because of a film I watched. A film with Christian Slater called Bed of Roses. Made me want to be a florist. I sometimes think about it and think I should go back into that. It's, uh, here's the thing I went from being a soldier, seriously, infantry, British infantry. One Kings, to be precise. 
which is a regiment that recruits exclusively from Manchester and Liverpool in the UK. Serial number 25094202. I went from that to doing um, forestry, fire arranging. Weird, right? It was quite amusing actually, because this, well, for me at least, the college I was at, uh, forestry, fire arranging, is almost entirely something that women do. That may sound sexist, but it's a simple statement of fact. It's a career that generally attracts women. So I was in this class with, I think it was 14, 14 or 16 women, and I was the only male there. But directly next door to us, there was a course for people wanting to be chefs, which is a career that generally speaking, despite the whole, you know, woman's places in the kitchen, generally speaking, it is almost entirely male. It's not because they preclude women, it's because men generally want to be chefs. And um, that particular class, when I was there, had four, three women in it that wanted to be chefs. And they were all called Sheila. No joke. Seriously. Say, say what? Oh, crap! There were um, three women in this class, all called Sheila. They were Sheila, Sheila, and Sheila. It was awesome. So I was the only male in the forestry class, and they were the only females in the um, cookery class, I suppose you could call it. How did I start this conversation? I have no idea. It's just what I'm doing, you know. Anyway, but yeah, so I went from being a soldier to being a florist because of the film Bed of Roses, which stars Christian Slater and a woman whose name I can't remember. Seriously? Ginger guy? Come get somebody killed me from behind. Anyway, uh, own on origin. Once you close proximity of a disturbance, the brain, the bird's brain suffers immediately. It says brain damage that quickly leads to death. It is not known at this time whether humans or other life forms are affected, although there is clearly a connection between crime and areas and where birds swarm and die. Time your kit carefully for just after something. After a Malay attack, I think it's it. Nom, nom, nom. Alright. <coughs> this is going to be a problem because there's somebody else. Where did that other person come from? Right. There is definitely somebody else in this area. There he is. Three of them, in fact. But they only attack me if they come close, it seems. So, I will do something. I will use that first of all. Definitely use that. Sword off, fine, I'll pick that up just because. And I'll pick that up because that's even better. Beat you in the face! Oh crap, I'm trapped in a corner. And I will beat you in the face. That guy's dead. Now all the health I had is gone. Seriously? Uh. Oh no, wrong button. Button? Oh crappy neat my friggin' fucking use block to your advantage. Receiving recidivists. Right. Don't go in to the corner this time, Kuikus. Uh, what am 
am I even using anyway? What, what is this weapon that I have right now? Something. Right, he's dead. Oh crap! Nope. Ah, the fr ah, I'm gonna go for a pee. I'll be right back. So, I just lost the tap. Seriously, whilst trying to wash my hands, I was like, where the hell is the water? I couldn't find it, because I fail. Probably actually because I'm drunk. <laughs> oh, cool! Here's that dude. Uh, okay, he has a bit of a fetish for mannequins, that's for sure. Ah! And, ah! He's dead. I've got this dude. He's picked something up. Come over here, dude. No, nope. fine, don't come over here then. Sword off shotgun. Gonna murder you to death with it. Murder you in the face. Murder you in the face. Come over here, dude. I'm gonna murder you in the face with a sawn off shotgun. Oh, you f. Sninge, complete the game with only... I'm trying to do that, just reload it, and I also checked on Skype, and people are like, what the poo? Because I told them that they have a face. Uh, I don't think they've picked up on the fact yet, but even though I told them I'm going to go and get drunk and play games, they haven't picked up on the fact that I'm completely and utterly twatted. <laughs> Death! Cool, I knocked his head Seriously, literally. Ugh! No. I actually knocked his head off. Oh, where's the, 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 there it is. Ah! Come here, you. I'm gonna bash you in face. Oh, you finger the burgers to burn the mind. I'm hungry. What are you doing, Mog? I'm being a cat, I don't know about you, stupid human, but I am being a cat. What are you doing, Mog? What are you doing? I'm stroking your belly. Stroke the bellies of the monks. I said, yeah, you like the bellies of the monks? And I'm like, no, I like the bellies of the faces. And she's like, what does that even mean? I'm like, I don't know, it means something about faces. Come here, you. Fine. Murder you with this just in case. Clothes rack. Actually. Seems that does more damage. No, it just has more reach. That does more damage and has a better speed. Right. Fine. Now where was that? Oh, he dropped his thing. Now, where was that health that I found earlier? Where was it? There it is. There we go. Hello. You a dude? Yes, you are a dude. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where did he go? Oh crap! Eat my face! You're not gonna die! Yeah, you are gonna die actually. I'm gonna murder you in the face. He's a ghoul from Fallout! 
He's a, he's a ghoul owl. Poor ghoul. Love that. Nope, don't want to go down there. Maybe. What's in here? Nothing. What's over here? Revolver. Open door. Grab revolver. Could grab the revolver with. Oh, crap, you. Eat. Die! Rebar concrete. Already have a rebar concrete. Grab clothes wrap. Nope, nope. Over here. Is there anything worth looking at over here? I don't think there is. I don't even know. Oh, that's my. That's me making those noises. I think. Better be me making those noises. Yep, this is where I came in. Do the kill. Two by four bolts. Place. Uh, break. Bremen again. Yep. Fine. Then it's this way. This way. With my pink control pad. Open the door. Nothing in here. There's a dead guy that I'll kick in the shoulder. And in the shoulder again. And again. And I'll kick him in the leg. Kick him in the knee. <laughs> What the hell happened to my leg then? Seriously! Uh, murder all these people. Murder you. Murder you. Murder you. Murder both of you in one go. And then you. What? No, nope, don't want a mannequin arm. No. There's a handprint there. Ah, take a picture of it. No, it's missing. Yeah, it is. You know, it's Investigate to to aha collection. Nope, zoom in. Nope, zoom out. What's this mean? Somebody was murdered. Didn't cat watch. I did not catch what she said because I heard somebody, and that made me like I want to find out what's going on with these people that are trying to murder me in the face. So there's a cat looking at me like, "What are you doing?" And I'm like. You are a cat, what do you know about anything? And she's like, I know that things and stuff. And I'm like, that's very informative. And she's like, yeah, I'm going to sit on your nuts now. And I'm like, cool. I want to play Binary Domain. For those who don't know why I want to play Binary Domain, go watch Screw Games HD. That's H, not H. H D for those who don't know. Huh duh. Go watch Screw Games H D anyway, they stuff. And um, in one of the episodes something about not that. But yeah, makes me want to play binary domain. It actually looks like a decent game. Um now he sort of was playing it on the PlayStation 3. Wasn't him playing it, it was a friend of his, but he was still doing talking. He was still talking about this good <laughs> stuff. Yeah, he still counts. 
plus it was on his channel. So, yeah. Uh, but, one of the episodes, which you should all watch, because it was good. I have hiccups, so forgive me for a moment, I'm not going to talk, which is probably a good thing, because I talk bollocks when I'm talking. No. Be right back. For those who don't know what I was doing, I was holding my breath. Because hiccups, which I still have, is caused by trapped wind, a little air ball of, well, air, in your esophageal uh, gastrointestinal tract. Uh, pardon me. What was I talking about? I don't even know. <laughs> oh yeah, by the domain, you should go watch. <sighs> Screw Games HD. It has roughly the same number of views that I get. So, I'm actually doing a shout out that might actually help for once. Now, actually, normally I'd say you might not be so keen on what he does because it's more adult, not mature. Kind of mature. More adult than what I usually do. He swears more than I usually do. But, uh, but because I'm doing this in Condemned, which although I'm classing as a mature is also more adult than I would usually do. I've sworn a lot more during this let's play. Um, so in that respect it's about comparable to what I'm doing here. <laughs> uh, Still, anyway, yeah, binary domain. I want to play it. Looks pretty good. And the majority of why I think it looks good, it's, it looks good is because of Screw Games HD. Now he plays it on the PlayStation 3, which obviously I don't. This is on the 360, and the majority of the stuff I upload is on the PC. But unlike the majority of PC, well, okay, not the majority. Unlike the vocal majority of PC gamers, by which I mean not that the majority of PC gamers are like that, but the people who make the most noise. 
the majority of the people who make the most noise say that lol console gaming is for fags anyway yeah um i have consoles that should be kind of obvious from the fact that I'm playing this on 360. Don't believe me? <laughs> there you go. There's the dashboard. Fine. Seriously, what? My okay, it's showing us two bars, even though the fact that my hang on, I'm gonna unplug this for a sec. See what happens. There it goes off. Weird. Got to plug it back. Hey. back in my um, pink. 360 controller. What's it saying there? <gasps> Three bars. Fine. Why do I still have hiccups? I don't know. I'm going to unhiccup myself. So, uh, go watch Screw HD Games stuff. He's really good. Screw Games HD, not Screw HD Games, but yeah, go watch him, it's really good. And he made me uh, to play Binary Domain, why do I still have hiccups? Uh, 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 excuse me. Come on, give me the evidence. Uh. Freaking hiccups. <coughs> I hate hiccups. Hiccups are a pain in the mug. Uh, <coughs> leaving evidence area. Cool. Trace glows a bright green. Is it just telling me where I'm supposed to be going? If that's the ca <coughs> case, I could have found this anyway. Seriously. No, seriously. <coughs> seriously, there's nothing else to find. <coughs> okay. Food. Okay, fine. Wow, Break. Actually, there was something. Uh, there was something about this way that needed a sledgehammer, uh, wasn't there? Um. Not that obviously. Freaking hiccups, go away, already. Ah! Nope, don't want to grab a clothes rack. Nope, crap. Do that. Ah! Well, definitely have a kill with side channel. Even though I'm certain, absolutely certain, that I already. That is hard as me. I know I already have a kill with Sledgehammer. Why do I sound so bunged up? Probably because I'm bunged up at the moment. And I don't know why. I shouldn't be. It's not as high power count at the moment or, or anything. And that what that's not sarcasm. There isn't a high pollen always well, last time I checked there wasn't a high power count. In fact the power count got down. So, I don't know why I feel so bunged up all of a sudden, but I obviously I, I am, for those who can't hear it. Uh, uh, <laughs> fine. 
Uh, there was definitely some wire around here I needed. <coughs> Is that it? Nope. Fine. Is that it? Nope. <laughs> Death. <laughs> Where did I come from? I know there was somewhere I need a sledgehammer. No. <laughs> How long have I been playing this far now without <clears throat> dying? Quite a while. That means I'm about to jump. Seriously, these hiccups are starting to get on my tits now. I don't even know. <laughs> Padme? Even though I did that on purpose. So I'm trying to get rid of these fucking hiccups. But yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but... Um, screw Games HD. <laughs> Screw Games HD. He plays all of his games on the PlayStation 3, and he is kind of... Mm, I don't know if crass is quite the right word. There we go. You sledge. He is... Uh, he is not po polite in the way he puts things. Which is good. In its own way. But, binary domain. I want to play it. I've added it to my wish list on Steam. Because, for those who don't know yet, I am primarily a P PC gamer. Which is something that I've thought about recently, actually. As a PC gamer, I understand why a lot of other PC gamers don't like games consoles. They dumb down, and I was making the quotation ge uh, gesture when I did that. They dumb down games. Mass Effect, hey. Mass Effect which is a well known game or series, Mass Effect is a classic example of that. You look at the fir uh, first Mass Effect compared to Mass Effect 2, and then, actually, not so much Mass Effect 3, but I'll, I'll talk about that in a moment. <laughs> but you look at Mass Effect compared to Mass Effect 2. Mass Effect is actually a very complicated ga game in a lot of ways. Mass Effect 2 is very simple compared to it. Which is not to say that it's a sim simple game, but it is simple by comparison. And that's the main problem that a lot of PC gamers have with consoles, is they simplify. Personally, doesn't bother me too much. Uh, um, in a lot of ways, I think Mass Effect 2 is vastly superior to, to Mass Effect. I will never call it Mass Effect 1, because that's just not the way I roll. Ooh. Anyway, it is different to Mass Effect. That's for sure. It's not a bad game, in fact. Like I said, I think Mass Effect 2, in a lot of ways, for the most part, is a better game than Mass Effect. Mass Effect. But. Mass Effect is a much more complicated and gives me a lot more control, which I personally like, over my characters and the game as a whole, than Mass Effect 2 does. Um, and that's the main problem a lot of PC gamers have with the consoles, is the way they dumb down, again, making the quotation gesture. Personally, I can understand their point, 
but I also see the advantage of consoles. Games consoles. Which should be kind of obvious from the fact that I'm playing this on a console <laughs> rather than the PC, despite having access to it now, finally. Having access to this on the PC again. Good game, by the way. I am, for the most part, enjoying it. Anyway, screw games HD and consoles. Um, yeah, consoles have the advantage of the pick up and play. They're a lot easier to to get into than the PC. It's both the best and the, w the worst part of the consoles is you put your game in, you click play and you play. For the most part. The PlayStation 3 in particular is, oh crap, is known for requiring installation of games before you can play them. Don't even get me started on Metal Gear Solid 4. Which isn't the first, fourth, oh, which isn't the fourth game in the series, but again, don't even get me started on that. But yeah, for the most part, consoles, put your disc in, click play, play your game. It's the strength of the consoles, is the pick up and play, so to speak. With PC, it can oftentimes require a lot more than that. <laughs> Which is the best and worst part of the PC. If the game doesn't work properly, you might have to ed edit your config. Which is a bad thing, in, in some ways. Because, well, you have to edit your config. But it's also a good thing, because you can, you can edit your config with a console game, you don't have that luxury. So maybe you need to do some playing with the config first, before you can play your game. That sucks. But you can if you need to. So it is kind of the best both worlds. I play consoles because sometimes I just want to plug in the game and be able to play it straight away. I have no problems with saying that. But, but I am primarily a PC gamer because frankly PC games are better. From a technical standpoint they have more options available to them they look, they look better, despite what you may have heard. Mods, okay, maybe that shouldn't be an, is an issue, but for me, fuck you, it is. They make games better. They extend the playability of a game. Whether they should or not is irrelevant. They, they do. So where was I talking? Where was I going with this? I don't know. Screw Games HD. Go give him a look. Um, if you're watching me and you can put up with the fact that with me being drunk right now and I'm talking absolute bollocks, then you can put up with the fact that he swears sometimes because he doesn't swear that much. In fact, I've probably sweared more in this let play than he does in his entire thing. And he plays some really great games. And he's made me want to play Binary Domain, which I was extremely unsure about. I mean, I first saw it like two years ago on Game Trailers, which I don't even frequent anymore, to the point that my account on there has been deleted at my request um, for clarification. I actually sent them an e email saying, I'm never coming back, so please delete my account. And they did, which. It's kind of cool, actually. I didn't think they would. <laughs> but, if it wasn't for game trailers, I would never would have joined Pixel Judge, which still isn't paying me. 
again, quotation marks. I'm not receiving money from them, but for fuck's sake. I played Metro last night a week earlier than I would normally have been able to play it in the UK for free. So I am not complaining. My boss has said that by the end of this year, he wants to be able to start paying us if only, if nothing more than it, um, games. Dude, you're already doing that, Simon. Seriously, <coughs> seriously, you are already doing that. Stop worrying about it. If I wasn't willing to do everything, I wouldn't be doing it. As I said, I'm doing content management now. Not full time, but I'm pretty much at the point where I am probably going to take over as a full time content manager. And I enjoy doing it. It's hard in time, at times, but I, I enjoy doing it. Anyway, go check out Screw as. Um, <coughs> Screw Games HD. He is really good. And dude, he records his game by pointing a camera a camera at his seat. That's camera, by the way. Three syllables, not two. <laughs> it is camera, not camera. Anyway, he records his games by pointing <coughs> a camera at his TV. And he's really entertaining. He is a little more oppressed than I put than even I would usually watch. But I like the stuff he does. It's good. And he's made me want to play Binary Domain. I have to, I've pretty much just rambled about that for the last 20 minutes, 30 minutes or so. I don't know. Anyway. Why is there a spindly, crimbling up tree here? I don't know. I've been recording this but this this it is now with every minute that passes this is the longest video I've ever recorded no it's not I recorded a Tomb Raider video that lasted around four hours the new Tomb Raider or the latest Tomb Raider uh, which might not be the latest Tomb Raider depending on when, when you're watching it Tomb Raider 2013 which is pretty good, pretty good game. Not great, but pretty good. Shit. Somebody else. Yeah, anyway. That game was around four hours. Oh, one of the recordings that I made was around... Oh, crap. One of the recordings I made was around four hours. This is my long. This is certainly my longest console recording. In fact, I'm gonna have to call this a day soon, despite the fact that I actually don't want to. I only have 26 minutes left to record before ITV goes <laughs> and decides it doesn't want to record anymore. Fuck it, I'm gonna keep going. Yeah, I said fuck. I've mentioned this before, but if you have a problem with me using adult language, quotation marks, yet again, if you have a problem with me using language like that, why in the cunting, boxing, twatting, fucking shit ass are you watching a mature rated let's play? You are a fucking idiot if you have a problem with language like that. Seriously, they're just words. <laughs> Why do you have a problem with them anyway? Oh, piss off and die on my face. I'll be right back.
I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, sorry about that. Shockingly enough, drinking lots of alcohol made you need, makes you need to go to the toilet to urinate quite often. <sighs> Which is what I did. Uh, anyway, if you have a problem with adult language, why are you watching this last play? Uh, dead. Hello, Mo. So anyway, I, 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 I really don't know what I'm talking about now. Ow! He murdered me in the face. I don't want to stop. I have 24, 23 ish minutes left. I don't want to start. I'm getting really into this now. Oh well, I suppose I have to. Sooner or later. <coughs> Why can I hear panting <coughs> noises that are definitely not me? Actually, there might be me from the fact that I have like no health left. Meh. Uh, that's the dude. That was the dude that killed me last time, wasn't it? <laughs> Shagbags. Bollocks in the face of a bedangle lad. What are you doing, Mog? You are being shit out of alcohol. We'll pour some more then. This is the most I've ever drank whilst recording a let's play or an L fails or whatever. Well, re uh. whilst recording myself playing games, let's call it that for sake of argument. I don't even know stuff and things. I am completely and utterly twatted by this point. You might have noticed from the fact that I am still shockingly coherent, despite the fact that I really should be talking complete nonsense. Die, you person! Oh, Ow! Oh! Eat my face! You know about that, don't you, cat? She's like, yes, I know about that. I am stretching like a cat. <laughs> Seriously, she just walked around in a complete circle. And now she's trying to bite my knuckles. Bite me! Yeah, bite me, cat. I'm going to stroke you with my paw. And she's like, no, I don't like that. You are evil. And I'm like, no, I'm not. I am only partly evil. And she's like, they're still evil. Oh crap. <laughs> there we go. Dead. Right, wait for my taser to refill. Uh, refill. You are murdered. No, not completely murdered. Yep. Now you are completely murdered. Right, I'm gonna get the guy with the bloody shotgun this time. It, there he is. Come here, you. I want to murder you in the face. There you are. Yes! You are dead, and I will punch you in the face, even though you look like a duel. Actually, because you're. I don't know! <gasps> I need to stop making so much noise. My neighbors might complain. I'm taking their damage. Nice. <clears throat> Dodgy stuff. I really want to play Fear again. I really should. I mean, I wrote re reviews, retro reviews for it on Pixel Judge. Actually, I wrote reviews for the entire series. They uploaded yet? I don't know. How do you know? Some of them have, but not all. I've done Fear. Um, Extraction point, Perseus mandate. Ah, uh, fear two, ah, uh, fear three, which was one of the games I got at no cost. 
from gamepickjudge.com. What's going on? Uh, for those who don't know, we are always looking for new ta talented people to join pixeljudge.com. Ah, oh, balls, I'm going to have to jump down there now, aren't I? Oh well, never mind. We're always looking for new people to join. Um, which is good. Also, we want to make things as friendly as possible. So, a lot of our reviews and news stories will be highly opinionated. We do not shy away from that fact. We want it to be... Think of it as being like a conversation you'd have with with your mate down the pub. We don't want to push people away. We understand that, that by by doing that, instead of having things entirely accurate, we will still push people away. Which is unfortunate, but we do know that that will happen. Anyway, yes, Pixel Judge P I X E L J U D G E dot C O N. We're always looking for new people to join. At present time, we cannot afford to pay you, as in cash, but there will be other benefits. I played Metro Last Light almost a week before it was released in the UK. And I loved it. Every second of it. It was hard work so I had to play it very quickly and I had to write my thoughts about it. Luckily, I was only doing what we call an appeal for it because we have three people who play the games. We have the main person who does the review and then we have what we call appeals which are done by two people, so we have three people in total. And we were lucky enough to get three copies of the game. And I'm trapped in here now. We, anyway, yeah, we got three copies of the game, which was fantastic, because Deep Silver had uh, never given us any games before. <coughs> had not given us any games before. And we managed to get three out of them the first time. There are other companies that have, have given us three, Focus uh, Home Interactive in particular, who we now have very close ties with, which is great because they are rapidly becoming my favorite developer, publisher, sorry. Anyway, yeah, um, Deep Silver gave us three, which I rapidly, which I, rapidly, sorry, which I think was in a lot of ways a test to see how well we do and Metro Last Light was actually the highest ranked game on Pixel Judge at time of recording. We gave it fives across the board. All three of us gave it five out of five. Is it a perfect game? No. There are still uh, a, a, few, a few things here and there that I could point to as being could be, could be better. We don't give 5 out of 5 saying it's a perfect game. We give 5 out of 5 saying it exceeds all expectations. And there is no realistic way it could have been significantly better than it already is. And three of us, which is something I thought would never happen on Pixel Judge. I thought that, I honestly thought there would always be that one person who would always find that one complaint that you could not dismiss. I realist I seriously thought there would always be that one guy, and to be honest, I thought it would always be me. But no, we gave it fives across the board, and that was one of them. So yeah, pixeldridge.com. We're always looking for new people, and you may not be paid in money, but you will receive a, a lot in return. So, yeah, come check us out. You won't regret it, I'm certain of it. We're a PC dedicated website. 
we review PC versions of games. We are all PC gamers. We have no problem with consoles, though. In fact, as far as I'm aware, every single one of us has a games console. I'm playing this on a games console right now. And thoroughly enjoying it. <gasps> I think I should should have played it on the PC, but I didn't have that luxury at the time, so nah, so be it. Anyway, long story short. What am I looking at? Stuff. What to do with this? So yeah, PC and stuff. Come check us out, and if you're if you've ever been interested in being a game reviewer, we're the best place to look, in my opinion. So I see what happens now. <laughs> You found? I found it. I would, I would, if I could. This part of the department store is flooded. This trail ends here. Gas spectrometer? Seriously. Gas spectrometer. <coughs> Methane, huh? Oh crap. I got ready. <laughs> well, didn't get ready you, but that did. Can't do it. No, it's hard to. Right, where am I going now? I, I honestly don't know. I just know that I want to play Fear. And uh, you should go check out Screw Games HD. Because he's pretty cool. And I want to play Binary Domain. And I want to play Fear. And I love my, uh, love my job. And there's a cat sitting right next to my crotch. So I'm getting some pussy, yo. <laughs> nope, that was definitely me making those noises. The fire axe. Okay then. There's no fire axe around here. I'm gonna have to stop soon whether I want to or not. I have 11 minutes left to record. And then I'm gonna run out of space on my MacBook. That's not. Good. And I still have the bloody hiccups. Uh, pardon me. Sergio, I don't care. Oh, cool. I've got a save point. I'll keep going, keep going for a little bit longer. See what happens. Ready to a fire up? Nope, not that. For a moment, I thought there was a fire up there, but nope. Nope. Oh, hello. Another bird. Oh, fuck you. Only oh, one bird on this level, but I got an achievement. Um, slab. A head button in the face? Nope. Something down on the floor. I slam him down onto the, the floor. I'm going to keep going until I get the next checkpoint. And then I'm going to take a break because I don't have much choice in the matter. I have only 10 minutes left to record before I run out of space. Deferred. What's that? <gasps> Fire axe! Oh crap! Faces of stuff! 
Oh crap, eat my face. Reaction speeds, not good. Because I'm kind of drunk! Eat my face! You are dead. Anyone else? Please tell me there's nobody else here. Please. Please tell me there's nobody else here. I don't even know. I still have hiccups and I don't want to die. Uh, I can use the fire axe on that. Is there anybody else here? I stop getting that weird randomness. Any small pipe? Nope, don't want small pipes. Oh crap! Faces of people! No! Don't even. Where did, he, where did he go? There he is. You need to die. Are you dead? Oh, slam. Oh no, I did slam earlier, but I saw you. Don't do it anyway. <laughs> is there anything up here? What's that? Pipe. Fine. Any this way? Nope. Fine. So yeah, I'm gonna go and break that door open over there that I know is there because I saw it in a moment ago that was eight minutes left. So I'm going to hit the next checkpoint, and then I'm going to call it a day. <laughs> Open. Where am I? Do I recognize this place? Actually, no, I don't. I thought I would. <gasps> Health! Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Yes, good. Yes, now I do recognize this place. That's where it came from. Investigation tool that should give me something on the floor. Nope. But I do recognize this place. Right. Keep going. Keep going, Kiwi. You can do it. You can do it. I heard something. I I heard something. I see somebody. Come here, you. I know you are there. You cannot, even though I'm drunk, you cannot confuse me. Well, I suppose you can, actually. But I know you are there. So don't even try! Stop shouting. You have neighbors that are probably not going to be too pleased about the fact that you are making all that. A lot of noise. That's right. No, I'm fine with my um, fire axe for now. I hear what sounds like people behind me. But I don't think they actually are behind me. So let's see what's in here. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, open! get through the door god damn it right there's my checkpoint so i'm going to call it a day here and see what happens next and just hopefully remember that i'm supposed to go down something i'll go down here first and see what happens um not that much what's that Mannequin art. Oh, investigation. What's down here? Nothing. Lots of it. Some. Alright, fine. I'll take the hint and I will call it a day here. So until next time, thank you for watching.